I've just come to Bath Spa Station and I've never been to Bath before. I do have a list of things that are interesting to me here and that I would like to go have a look at and see what we can do. We are going to see what you can get up to in Bath for two days. just step foot outside Bath train station. It's about one o'clock. I've just grabbed myself a Starbucks from inside the station, which honestly I'm so grateful for because I barely slept last night. I'm so tired and I got my period this morning. So I am feeling a bit like shit today. I'm not gonna lie, but we are gonna try our best to go see some sites, do some exploring and not let how shit I'm feeling put me off. I've just gone for a caramel oat latte. It is tasting banging today. So I'm very happy because I absolutely need this. It's looking very pretty so far and I've literally just stepped outside the train station. I am now going to figure out where the hell I'm going because I have no sense of direction here. I've booked myself into a little travel lodge, keeping it cheap and cheerful. I literally haven't booked a single thing to do whilst we're here so let's see what we can get up to. You're giving me wind and rain, you're some kind of butterfly. just put my earphones in so you can hear me a little bit better but I'm just sat in a little square outside the Bath Abbey and it looks really beautiful I'm gonna carry on like exploring this square in a second I'm just having a little sit down just to take some paracetamol for my period pains not the vibe and um, but I have also just booked myself in to see the Roman baths which are literally right around the corner I did have a little look basically checking whether or not the Roman baths would be booked up or like fully sold out like before I came but it seemed like there was quite a lot of availability so I was like you know what I just won't book it until I get there so I know the times and everything. I've actually booked to go in in about 20 minutes so I'm just gonna have a little look around the square that I'm in now have a little look at the abbey and go over to the Roman baths because obviously the Roman baths are kind of like one of the main things that people actually come to bath for so I'm very excited to see them. My best friend Stacey went to bath recently with her boyfriend so she's given me some recommendations and obviously I've had a little research on Google just in case you wanted to know the Roman baths were 18 pound per ticket and that's for the standard ticket so let's see if it's worth it guys we found a bookshop there's too many books in that bookshop for me to be able to actually look around properly so i'm going to go back afterwards because i don't want to be late for this oh, fudge factory okay the the baths will have to wait a little bit longer Cool. This is the very famous like image that you see when you google Roman bath so this is quite cool to be fair. This terrace was completed in 1897 that is quite old. The swimming bath below is just one part of the Roman site which included extensive baths and a major temple complex built around the hot spring. I 
came out of the Roman baths and it was actually really good. It was definitely worth the £18 that I paid. It was actually way bigger than I thought. Like I thought it was pretty much you just see the actual spa bit. There was like loads of layers. It took you around the whole complex. Got to find out lots about the history of like when it was made, how it was made, what it was used for. Definitely don't skip out on doing the Roman baths because I can see why they're kind of like one of the main things to do here because it is really interesting. There was a lot of girls there taking pictures and getting their boyfriends to take pictures for them. You can tell that it's a very good like photo shoot location for lots of uh, people who go there. I didn't film inside all of the Roman baths because obviously there was a lot to it and a lot of it was like listening to the little free audio guide that you get, reading the plaques, like having a bit of a look around so I didn't want it to be too boring in case you're not interested in the Roman baths but definitely would recommend if you are coming to Bath. I am just heading to my hotel now and I'm gonna see if I can check in. Just because I want to drop my backpack off it's quite heavy but the travel lodge I've booked is literally a seven minute walk away from like all of the main things. Everything seems to sort of be like in one little area, which is really nice because it makes Bath very walkable. Just went into the Mr. Sim shop as well and I picked up a Milky Way salted caramel bar. The Sim tour so I'll be getting a lot of compliments on my hair as well, which is quite cute. Like two different men have told me that they love my hair and that they love the color of it, but like not in a creepy way, just in like a, oh, that's a nice color kind of way, which is quite nice. Here we are, the travel lodge right next to a Revs. Love that. But apparently just on top of a nightclub, zero zero nightclub. Travel Lodge of Bath Central if anyone's interested. First impressions of the hotel is that it does seem a little bit rough. And this is my room. It's very spacious. We've got a little bit of a wardrobe space here. Um, and then for some reason I have two single beds. Not complaining about it. A lot of space. And this is the view from the room. I can't open the windows sadly but not a bad view. The only problem is, is I can already hear noises from outside, so I don't think it's like very soundproof, but like you get what you pay for. Like it seems like relatively clean. It doesn't seem amazing if I'm being completely honest. As long as the bed's clean, that's all I care about. It's a nice and spacious bathroom. I'll take it. What kind of mirror situation is that? <laughs> Cheap and cheerful, why not? Just had a bit of a freshen off and now I'm having some ginger nut biscuits. It's about three o'clock now. So I'm gonna dump my backpack here. And then I think I'm gonna go walk over to, I wanna say Pultaney Bridge. I might be pronouncing that wrong, but it's supposed to be like a really nice bridge with lots of like really nice independent shops all along. The last thing I ate was like four hours ago and it was like a WH Smith meal deal. So I'm getting a little bit hungry now. I think my tripod's just broken. So that's good. I'm gonna go check out the bridge before it gets dark because I'd like to see the bridge in the daylight. Possibly go grab a scone because I feel like that's not much food, is it? So I'll be hungry again after that. Do some more exploring and then possibly get dinner later. I did want to take myself on like a little bar crawl tonight and like go out, have a few different drinks, a few different pubs. I could bought myself like a nice top in case I go out, but I don't know if my period's going to be wanting that to happen so we'll see little spot for afternoon tea looks lovely it's all pink on the inside and it's called sweet little things how cute yourself and like making all the decisions by yourself that is what i love about doing stuff by yourself you have complete freedom oh, i've just come down to one galley but it looks pretty so why not? This place is on my list of recommendations i have a friend who lives in bath and she told me they have amazing pizzas here out by the Abbey again. This is how incredibly walkable this city is. Like I'm just doing circles and not even realising. I'm guessing down there is where all the little independent shops are. To the right this is where the actual Paul Taney bridge is. So let's have a walk along the bridge first. Let's see what all this is about. I mean the views do look very pretty. I think I accidentally stood on this bridge earlier without realising what it was because I wanted to take a picture of the scenery over there. It's actually dropped a little bit colder now. Like, you know when you can feel a drop in, in the air? And I stupidly didn't put another layer on underneath this sweatshirt. I literally just have this sweatshirt and this jacket on. So if it does get too cold, I can run back. This is the view. You can sort of like do a skyline walk over there and it gives you like really nice pretty views out over back. But you basically walk along the hills. How pretty. Change of plan. Before I go explore the shops on the bridge, I'm gonna go grab myself some food, hopefully from Sally Lund's historic eating place and museum. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but everyone recommended that I go here. It's like quintessentially very bath. And to be fair, I, I see that bath I do sort of associate with like afternoon 
tees and little scarves and cute stuff like that. So I'm having such a nice day so far though. Honestly, it's so nice. <laughs> I've just come out of the Sally Lunn tea room and basically every single thing that they sell there they sell on a Sally Lunn bun they're basically all about these buns right and they're sold in half buns so I thought because they were £5.50 each and that they were sold in half buns that they would be quite small so I ordered two different halves right so I ordered one with jam like jam and butter traditional sort of scone bun type vibe and then I ordered one with chocolate butter as well because it's me obviously I'm going to enjoy that and then they came and then they're fucking massive and I just did not expect them to be that big but I'm not complaining because they were like genuinely delicious and the, the jam one with the butter was honestly so nice the chocolate one was really nice too I think it's about five o'clock now so I'm just going to quickly head back over to Pultani Bridge check out the shops I do want to go to the Royal Crescent as well it's supposed to be a really Really, really famous spot in Bath as well. But first, let's go check out some independent shops. I'm not being dramatic when I say it's cold outside. I've literally put a top underneath, a hoodie, another hoodie, and I'm gonna put my jacket on top. I don't even care that it, I look mental. Layered as fuck. Let's go. Let's go and try find the Royal Crescent, which if you don't know what the Royal Crescent is, it's basically like a famous area where lots of period dramas are set. So like Bridgerton, for example, it's like literally in the shape of a crescent, like beautiful, I guess, buildings or houses. And it just looks very like Victorian era. This was definitely worth coming to see. This is so cool. This is like exactly what it looks like on Google Images. Um, and then we have the park literally right behind it, which oh, I'm annoyed that it's getting dark because you're not going to have to see it properly, but it's so pretty. But this is the Royal Crescent Park and you're probably not going to be able to tell on camera, but honestly, the views, especially like in the background. Apparently, this Royal Crescent building situation is supposed to be like a museum and just like a historic landmark, which I suppose that's exactly what it is. I'm going to have a little... Oh my God, look at all my layers. Honestly, I'm going to have a little walk around the park, I think, before it gets a little bit too dark. I do really like Bath. Like, I don't think it's like one of those places where I'm like, oh, I want to live here. Like, I want to move here. Sometimes I'll like go places and I'll be like, I've fallen in love with this place and I want to live here and move here, i.e. London um, or like cities that I go to abroad sometimes. But it is very pretty. And not that you'll see from this vlog but there's lots of like cute little vegan cafes and bakeries and just like nice places to eat and stuff so i'm hoping basically tomorrow morning to go to one of them for breakfast i think that's kind of cool especially if you're like into the vegan veggie scene and there's also lots of very cool bars as well like different themed bars and like just like basically amazing places to eat and drink try out all the different bars try out all the different like cocktail places just walking around the royal crescent park i should probably like figure out what i'm doing tonight when do i get dinner though because like it's nearly six o'clock and like i only finished eating those one thing was quarter to five and, like i don't feel i don't feel hungry like I mean, I could always eat. Like, I could always eat. I'll, I'll never be like, you know what, I can't eat. So, as far as I can get it anytime, really. I need to figure out where I'm eating as well. I really want a burger because burgers are my shit. But I also want to try dough, which is a pizza place. So, I've just don't know, guys. Walking back up this little hill now. Oh, you know what I'm going to do after dinner? I'm going to go home. I'm going to have a little shower, take my makeup off do a face mask. I've got my book with me as well. I'm reading Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. It's not quite the night out in Bath, but it is a bit of self-care. Bloody hell, we've done some steps today, folks. I'll tell you the step count when I get back to the hotel. Probably not even that much, really. <laughs> I'm just having a bit of a appreciative moment, I think. Like, it's a random Tuesday in February, 
at 6 p.m. and I'm just standing in the Royal Crescent in Bath. Just like looking at like the view. Like I, I would show you, but there's literally no point. And I'm just having like a bit of an appreciative moment. Like life is cool. I just went to Juno Bar for burgers and it looked really nice. The vibe seemed really cool, but they didn't really have much space in there. So rather than wait, I'm going to go try out dough. You know when you were just craving a burger? That's literally what I want so bad right now, but dough just as pizzas. But you know what? Because it was recommended to me, I'm going to go. I feel that's how it works. If someone recommends you something and they're like, the pizzas are amazing, you have to go and experience it. If that fails, then I'm basically fobbing off the recommendation thing and I'm going to go my burger kitchen. I've made it into dough, got myself a little table, sat right next to the window too. Pizza has just come and look at the steam coming off of that. I've got the marinara. This looks insane. It's literally huge. I am absolutely knackered. I've only done about 15,000 steps. I shouldn't be this tired. Oh my God. I can't, I actually can't think of the sentence that I'm trying to say. I should be as tired as I am after walking 15,000 steps. I'm just gonna like have a shower, take my makeup off, get in some pajamas, get all comfy and snug. I made a little face mask as well. I have actually bought some Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi isn't free with the hotel. It's three pounds for 24 hours. But my data is just not doing bits in this area. So I was like, oh, just buy, just buy the Wi-Fi. I totally forgot to tell you about the pizza at Dole. It was actually really good. I went for the marinara. Or marinara i think it's marinara but there was some like really nice little like spices on there or like herbs i guess and to be honest i just kind of sat there for a while after i ate i sat there for like a good hour just sort of like chilling i don't really know what i did but it was nice the pizza was really really good they were like thin crust pizzas and i only had a water as well so it cost me like literally less than 10 pounds and the sally lunn food that i had earlier as well that cost me about 11 pounds in total so really had quite cheap food today um but bath in general i think is like probably a little bit expensive just because obviously it's down south like this room for one night i literally paid i think i paid 50 pounds i'll pop it on screen where i did pay and it's hella noisy and it's two stars so that gives you a bit of a gauge for some reason i didn't expect to have itv2 on this tv because you, you know what hotel tvs are like sometimes they just don't have channels for some reason but love island a half an hour let's go skincare has been done face mask has been done watching love island and to be honest i think i'm probably just gonna tap out for the night now i'm not really gonna do much to be honest i'm just gonna get in bed watch love island possibly watch some more tv maybe do a bit of reading probably just gonna facetime my boyfriend so i'll see you in the morning it is the next morning well it's about 10 past 12 i should have checked out 10 minutes ago but i woke up at like half 10 I probably went to sleep about midnight and then I didn't fall asleep for a while because it turned out there's actually a club right below this hotel and it was like blaring the tunes till like 3 a.m. So I just basically put family guy on to like drown out the noise. And then I eventually fell asleep and I honestly had like a really good rest. Like it was actually really nice. I woke up a couple of times, but I feel like I was so tired yesterday that I was just gonna sleep no matter what. There's a couple of options for breakfast so far. I basically just Googled eggs and avocado near me last night to see which would be the closest. Because the one I originally wanted to go to is actually like way further than I thought. It's about a 30 minute walk. I just went for breakfast at same, same, but different. And it was honestly so nice, honestly delicious. Also had like a caramel oat ice latte, which again was really nice. The guy who worked there was absolutely lovely. It was just like a cute, like quaint little brunch style spot. It was very adorable. So this is the Royal Theatre. And I actually walked past it the other day without realizing it's quite small to be fair. It has just ever so slightly started to rain a little bit, like a few trickles. So I'm on my way to the Herschel Museum of Astronomy. I believe William Herschel, maybe? Uh, he's the person who discovered Uranus as a planet. just like sat and read an entire book an entire astronomy book 
that is for children and I loved it. But I was like, what is happening here? Well, I was just engrossed in the book. This museum is honestly so good so far. William Herschel basically discovered Uranus. He also discovered infrared radiation. His sister, Caroline, also did a lot of cool work. I think she discovered eight different comets, um, came over from Germany, settled in Bath, moved to Slough. Eventually, William Herschel became like the private astronomist to King George III, I think. The museum itself is actually set in the house that they actually lived in. This was actually their garden where they did lots of observations looking up at the night sky. This was the actual location where discover Uranus. How insane is that? Um, this plaque was put here like last year just to commemorate this space. I've just come out of the Herschel Museum. I didn't expect to enjoy that as much as I did. It's only £12 entry and you basically get like an annual pass so you can go back anytime within the next year without paying again. So if any of my friends who know me in real life would like to go to Bath anytime within the next year, let me know because I can give you my little pass and you can obviously go in for free. But I definitely recommend it if you have an interest in astronomy. The guy who worked there was super lovely, was telling me like loads of information about their life i think my train back i think it's at like 10 past five or something so i've actually got like over an hour and a half left i'm gonna grab some food um and figure out my next move